While most moths are active at night, several species of finks moths visit flowers during the day. Two species that we observe resemble the appearance and behavior of other pollinators, such as bees and hummingbirds. Have these diurnal moths evolved traits to mimic other unrelated species? Take, for example, the snowberry clearwing moth that we filmed in central Nebraska, where both moths and bees were observed pollinating lilac flowers. Not only is this stout-bodied, hair-covered moth the same size as, say, a carpenter bee, it exhibits lateral stripes on the abdomen, a yellow compact thorax, black legs, and transparent wings. Granted, snowberry clearwing moths are not perfect models of bees, but we had to look twice to confirm the identity of the moths. Could a bird that relishes eating moths also be deceived? Apparently, these sphinx moths do indeed exhibit features that mimic bees, particularly large species that are capable of defending themselves by stinging. To be mistaken for a bee could deter some predators from attacking a harmless yet conspicuous moth, at least long enough for a moth to evade capture. While white line sphinx moths are not likely to be mistaken for bees, they do resemble hummingbirds when hovering next to flowers. In fact, in some regions they are called hummingbird hawk moths. Being diurnal, the moths visit the same flowers as hummingbirds and both the moths and the birds penetrate deeply into a flower to extract nectar. Are such similarities sufficient to conclude that the moths have evolved traits to resemble hummingbirds? Obviously, white lion sphinx moths and hummingbirds feed on nectar. Yet in other ways they differ dramatically from one another example in size and appearance. With regard to hawk moths, the bold patterns on their wings and body have not evolved to resemble hummingbirds, but perhaps to disrupt the appearance of a moth when it descends to the ground to rest or lay eggs. How should we consider the similarities of hawk moths and hummingbirds? Are such shared traits merely coincidental or perhaps an example of convergent evolution? In this case, we have two species adopting similar solutions to the problem of harvesting nectar from flowers. Indeed, such convergence of traits is not uncommon in a natural world. <laughs>